Sports Classics 107.9. Time for our daily check-in with Dr. Monique Gary. Good afternoon, Doc. Good afternoon. Happy Tuesday to you. How are you? Happy Tuesday. How was your weekend? It was fantastic. It was peaceful. It was it was nice. Beautiful. That's nice. How- how about yours? Mine was. I had a four-person uh, gathering. <laughs> okay. It was very peaceful. Gave us enough room to be apart and enjoy some good food and some good conversation and some good music. So it was good. I love it. I love it. We're overdue for that. You know, we can still be in contact with each other. We just have to be sensible about it. And that is so true. All right. Speaking of the weekend and grilling and meats and things of that nature, I saw an alarming story that said that meatpacking employees were contracting COVID-19 more than doctors doctors and nurses combined and it stopped me in my tracks and I was wondering can we catch the virus from our packaged meats? So you're absolutely right in that we're seeing that you know people who process meat so there's been over 5,000 workers at 115 facilities in 19 states who have contracted the coronavirus. So your first question the answer is not that we know of according to the FDA and the CDC you cannot contract the coronavirus from meat itself that is the package that plant. Um, and you should cook your meat to an appropriate temperature as well to avoid contracting other illnesses that can come from meat. From the packaging, the question, of course, is what about touching the packaging, people coughing the factories, et cetera? It usually takes several days for meat to get to us from their supply chain, so where they come from in California and Idaho, et cetera. And so by then, the risk of viral transmission is very low on the plastic surfaces. So the risk of getting coronavirus from meat packaging is very, very low. Okay. Because I had a friend laughing at me because because I brought food and thinking about that, I literally wiped the outside of my meat packaging. <laughs> I wipe the outside of everything, so I don't think- I do. Girl, I wipe off a candy bar that comes in my house. I am still very diligent about keeping my area and everything that comes in my house disinfected and clean and safe. Well, especially meat, because people pick it up and they look at the price, they look at the meat itself and they put it back down. So there's a lot of hands that are touching meat. So we still have to be you know, vigilant and careful. My concern is that the price of groceries are- food is going way up because of this, this public health issue. This is a supply chain issue. And so you it know, is. I want people to, to consider, you know, just three quick things. One, buy local if you can. Make the trip, you know, here in Pennsylvania, you can get the Lancaster, you can get out to Quaker Town. You know, there's farms all along the way where you can potentially buy your meat and your program. Uh, two, read and store. Waste not, want not. If you're not going to use certain parts of it, you can make soup out of it later. You can make, you know, pasta dishes, spaghetti. So really divide your meat, freeze it, and consider, you know, making meat not the central focus of your meal. And the third thing is eat a more plant-based diet. You know, this is a great time to explore some of those uh, options where you're either partially, you know, vegetarian or maybe you're just using, you know, having a meatless night once a week or just cutting the amount of meat that's in your, in your diet because, you know, it has been shown that it's healthier for us. You get more fiber, you get more nutrition. So consider increasing your plants and your vegetables in your diet right now since meat is getting really expensive. I hear you because, look, let me tell you, when I was shopping for my meat, I am one of those people that pick it up and put it back down. I'm like, I'm not paying that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we should have to, but things are getting better, but you know, in tight spaces like factories, they still have to be really careful. So many of the meat factories are testing every employee for COVID right now. So, you know, release is on the horizon, but it takes a while for it to trickle down to our supermarket. Exercise some more patience. We just have to be patient. Doc, thanks again for your advice today and your information. We so appreciate you as we always do. God speed to you. Continue to have a healthy and safe and happy life and good luck to you and your patients and everything that you do. Appreciate that so much and always you can follow me on social media Dr. Monique Gary on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. I want to try to put up some good vegetarian recipes on some of the social media sites. So look out for those. I love you guys. Have a beautiful afternoon.